Hi everybody, Mr. Garrett here, and I wanted to go over two quick examples of problems that were a little bit trickier um, in class, and so these are the, the uh, problems for solving exponential equations. The first one here is 2 to the 3x plus 1 equals 3 to the x minus 2, and uh, the tricky part about this is that the bases aren't the same, so we can't just simply say 3x plus 1 equals x minus 2. What we need to do is we need to take the log of both sides. Now, I can pick and choose what log I want. Um, in the old days, we'd say use the common log and the common log or the natural log and the natural log. Now you guys with your fancy calculators, I would choose the log base two just to get rid of the two on the right side or on the left side. And so if I take log base two of the left side and log base two of the right side, I'm gonna get on the left side, three X plus one. And that occurs because there's a rule that says log base b of b to the x is x. And because I have that, I get 3x plus 1. And on the right side, I'm going to get x minus 2 times the quantity log base 2 of 3. Now, I need to get x by itself, and it's okay that I got a 3x here, but I have this x minus 2 here. I could divide both sides by x minus 2, but that's going to be kind of a problem. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to distribute the log base 2 of 3 to both parts here. And that's going to give me x times log base 2 of 3 minus 2 log base 2 of 3. And on the left side, I'm going to have 3x plus 1. Now I have this x log base 2 of 3 and a 3x here. I need to get those on the same side. So I'm going to do this in two steps. I'm going to first say subtract 1 from both sides. And I'm going to subtract x log base 2 of 3 from both sides. When I do that, the left side now is 3x minus x log base 2 of 3. And the right side is now negative 1 minus 2 log base 2 of 3. This is good because all these are numbers. This is going to be a number. It's not an exact number, but it's a rounded number. And over here, I got my x's. The next step, which I think will make it pretty clear, is to factor out an x. I have an x in both terms. I factor it out, and I get 3 minus log base 2 of 3. And my right, side's, right side is still negative 1 minus 2 log base 2 of 3. And now I can simply do division. And when I divide by 3 minus log base 2 of 3, what happens is I cancel out that term right there. I divide the right side by 3 minus log base 2 of 3. And what I get is x alone on the left and negative 1 minus 2 log base 2 of 3 over 3 minus log base 2 of 3. Now this is my exact answer. And if I want an exact answer, that's cool. But sometimes we need the approximate so that everybody else can understand what we're talking about. And I would plug this into my calculator very carefully and say negative 2.9469. And that's my answer. Now, the only thing that would be different is if you don't have an Inspire calculator, you could go ahead and take the common log of both sides. The only problem with that is it's gonna cause you some problems over here, but you do the same thing that we had here where we distribute the log to this, uh, these two terms here as well. So that's a little bit different, um, but that's another video and I think most of you have Inspire, so you're okay with that. This one here is a little tricky because it looks kind of like factoring, but we're not really sure. And so the easiest thing I could say is to make it look like something factorable, like a squared plus 4a minus 21 equals 0. And the reason I did that is I'm like, well, this kind of looks funny, but 
here's e to the 2x. And so if I said that's like 4a, so now I'm like, all right, well, let's let e to the 2x equal a. And if that's the case, e to the 2x squared would be e to the 4x, so that's a squared. That's e to the 2x squared, which is that. And then there's 4e to the 2x, or 4a minus 21. This is easy. This is an algebra 1 or an algebra 2 type problem. And we just factor a plus 7 and a minus 3. We set those equal to 0. I get a plus 7 equals 0, and a minus 3 equals 0. And then I subtract 7 and get a equals negative 7. And I sub add 3 and I get a equals 3. And then I substitute these back in because we've got to remember that e to the 2x equals a. So I'm going to say e to the 2x equals negative 7. And e to the 2x equals 3. To solve this first equation, I take the natural log of both sides, natural log of e to the 2x and the natural log of negative 7. Oh, oh, uh-oh. This is bad news. We can't have this. That's undefined. That's a rule that we don't have. And so we cannot do that. So this part here means it's undefined, so we're out. We can't use that. But we could finish the problem here by taking the natural log of e to the 2x and the natural log of 3. Natural log of 3 we can do. Natural log of e to the 2x is simply 2x. Natural log of 3 is still natural log of 3. And then we divide both sides by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, and we get x equals the natural log of 3 divided by 2, which again is an exact value, but we want an approximate answer. And so I get 0.5493 as my approximate answer. And that's how we solve those types of problems. So here, um, a little tricky because we got to do some uh, distributing and factoring with the common terms. Here, we got to do a little substitution. Um, this will help us out when we get to calculus and you have to do U substitution where you take something complex and make it a little bit simpler. Um, but I hope that helped. And uh, good luck on your homework.